Hey guys, I'm Bez and welcome to your 9th Java Swing tutorial. Now in the previous video you had learned about checkboxes and in this video you'd just be learning about radio buttons. So what really are radio buttons? Well, when you select a radio button they look like an eye of a human and when you don't select them they look like an eye of a monster. So that's the simple way you can, you know, think of a radio button. So let's just start our simple application. First, I will just bring a JTX field. And this is perfect. Okay, now let me just change some properties of this text field that I will later require, you know. For the font, I will just select Times New Roman and the size should be 18 that's good and now I'll just need some radio buttons my first button it should say regular second button bold third button italic Wait, I like things organized. Yeah, that's good. Now, the last button that would just say, you know, bold plus italic. So, I guess you already know what I'm trying to do here. That's it. So, what this application is going to do is the you know the user would enter some text here like hit list and then when the user clicks on bold then the text would be bold when it clicks on italic it would just change the style into italic and when it clicks on bold plus italic then it will change into both but here there is a problem you know when you look at radio buttons then you generally see that if there are like three four radio buttons together then you can only select any one of them right so radio buttons aren't like check boxes where you can select as many as you want whenever you want so that's not how a radio button works right you have to select any one of them and here we are just going to create that functionality in a pretty simple way so let's just save it and you know go to source so here I've already created a simple button group so this is the class that we will require here so just create a simple object of the class button group and then we will write this code it would be button group dot add and I will add the all the four buttons here simply again the second one it would be italic for the third one this button group actually you know tells you that all the buttons are in a simple group and when they are in a simple group they won't be able to be executed separately that means they're simply that they aren't independent of each other when they when you put them in a group then they are dependent so now if I were to just design and I run my project now just see if I click on regular and then I click on bold then the regular is again deselected right so you can select any one of them you can't select all of them together or more than one so that's our first objective that you have accomplished now the second one I have to use what action listener or item listener obviously item listener isn't it and this item listener will just listen to any kind of state change that this radio button goes through so let's just add our listener simply I right click I go to add event handler and this item state change method and within this see what I write my text field name is text field wow and I will just change its font And this is how you change the font of a text field and you can use this same thing for a you know a label as well I'll just write new font and then in the first column I have to specify the name of the font 
in my case i'm using times new roman in the second column i have to specify the style now it is for regular then i have to use the style plain which means you know neither bold neither italic and in the third column i have to specify the size and the size is again 18 you had seen at first so this is for regular right and now i have to do the same thing for the other three as well now this is for bold so wait i'll just you know copy it annoying dog okay so this time it would be font dot bold again the same thing and i'll again add another listener for italic okay now the last one which is bold plus italic well now here's a catch like for bold we have a separate style called bold for plain we have a style called plain for italic we also have one but when we want both bold and italic then we just don't have a single style for both of them we have to use both bold and italic and this is how you do it first you write bold or italic whatever you want you put a space and you put the plus sign and then after this you write the next one like for first one was bold so second one would be italic and if i do that then it would be bold plus italic and i'll just need to save it and that's it now i'll run my application now let me just write something like hi guys if i select bold the text is bold if i select italic it becomes italic if i select again regular it's normal again and if i select bold plus italic it's both right so this is how radio buttons work and i guess you have understood one simple thing by now and if you don't just listen to me you know if i hadn't put the button group here then what would happen these all these radio buttons would simply work as check boxes isn't it only because of that button group these radio buttons are working in the functionality that they should so a radio button without a button group acts as a check box whereas a couple of check boxes within a button group would act as radio buttons right so this is you know a thing that you should always remember then you can distinguish between check boxes and radio buttons from a coder's perspective so i hope this tutorial really helped you for radio buttons and in the next video i don't know but i'll just be teaching you something really interesting and i'll just see you guys in the next one